hello and thank you for watching again um today i have something a little bit different um i tried making this video a little while ago and then um i bought another thing so i have to like update i guess you guys on everything so i just thought i'd bring out all my planners and then do one video um that covers everything that happened so as you can see right here, this is the uh, most different from the other planners I got going on here. This is my um, cloth and paper, the desk agenda that doesn't have the snap and no rings inside. So it just looks like this when you first open it up. I love this color. I love the texture. Um, I believe it is real leather and so it does have that um, like weight, that bulkiness and it's really nice it's that saffiano material so it's kind of like canvas where it's very durable and this color is just my favorite hence the background here one of my <laughs> favorite sweaters and the color is exactly or similar to the color that i like and so um this i bought on the cloth and paper website it was like a hundred something and I ordered some papers, which I'll show you. Um, what happened is that it was my birthday and my husband couldn't think of anything and I wasn't really in like a super festive mood. And the only thing that I was kind of like leaning towards that I wanted wasn't anything like fashion forward or like Louis or anything like that. It was that I just kind of wanted to try try a um, disc bound, but I wasn't ready to make that huge leap into that world because I'm definitely, definitely a ring bound girl. So um, for my birthday, I just kind of thought I'd experiment a little bit. So that's where this idea came from. So my husband was like, you know what, then just go for it. So um, I will show you, this is a Louis desk agenda and it is $555 in the store and right now I believe at the store um, my lady told me that there are negative 13 there's 13 people in line and everyone's totally sold out in the US that this would be very hard to come by and even if I put myself on the waiting list she wasn't sure when I would get it and then being another birthday gift from Louis, like that wasn't a path I wanted to go down because the past two years, um, it's been like this, like every time I walk in and I want something, it's my birthday. Um, they don't have like the top like two, three items that I wanted for two years in a row. So this year I was like, I'm not gonna do that. I really hate that feeling of just striking out repeatedly. And so I said, I'm not gonna get anything Louis this time. I don't want anything Louis for my birthday. So I went with this. This came early, it came so fast from Virginia and I live on the West Coast and it came in like two days and perfect. Like I had a, f I had a lot of fun playing with it. And, oh, it came with gold discs, which I'll show you are in here now, but, um, so what happened was I get it. I get it. Um, I'm playing around with it. It's my birthday. And the funny thing is like a day before my birth or like two days before my birthday, I was on Instagram and I'm, I'm really loving this. So I'm on Instagram looking at the desk agenda and I wasn't going to get the desk agenda before because it's $555. I was like, I'm not sure if that's the kind of investment I want to make into some experimental notebook so um i'm wasn't really ready to jump in with both feet as soon as i got this i was like i love it and so two days before my birthday i start looking around on instagram i see someone unbox it and there's like a comment on that picture where another person is saying you should have let me know because um i have one and then that's from three weeks ago. So I DM that person and I said, I know like I'm kind of stalking you on the internet, but would you still have this desk agenda from three weeks ago? And the gentleman was so nice. He actually said yes. And he shipped it to me the next day for 450, 450 excluding or without even shipping. I, I didn't have to pay for shipping either. So it was so such a nice guy and he actually lives in New Mexico. I'm in Nevada. It came within just a couple of days signature, um, totally insured. And this is it. So I guess both of these arrived like within a week of my birthday. And so these are my birthday presents. Um, this one 
can I can you see the whole thing yeah so this one is a cloth and paper one um, it has the credit card pockets just like the other cloth and paper the regular agenda the ring agenda that I used to have one pocket here another pocket here so it has two pockets um, one flap here and one right here for cards and things and so um, leather and I'm I'm pretty sure it is real leather it feels like real leather I'm I'm pretty sure it is so when it's folded it's pretty skinny the only thing is when you open it up I don't like seeing these here creases I don't really think this is like a defect or anything I think it just can't be helped from the way it's made um, something isn't glued down properly but or um, I can feel like these two metal plates right here but not in the spine because it has to roll onto the discs and I think that's where the bubbling is coming from so um, there's that and then the Louis Vuitton one looks like this so just in case you guys are curious like I myself was very curious as well because when I received this these rings were in there um, it sits right on top it's perfect the only thing is is that when I was getting ready to buy this desk agenda I know this is a new model so this one has one little pocket here one flap here one behind and on the back here is where this plastic thing will go in and these are the credit card slots up here totally unused so um, I know that you have to kind of get the measurements right because these are one inch discs and in order for it to shut and to go over and for these two pieces to meet it has to be a certain like I guess like width this way so um, I almost bought one on Poshmark there's one on Poshmark for like hundred and twenty dollars but I know that it's like skinny so you can only fit like a legit notebook like a rifle paper notebook like a thin uh, moleskin notebook and you would not be able to use discs with it so um, just like a warning in case you are totally new to this but you want to like jump in with a Louis Vuitton one just be aware so um, I'm actually really happy with both my purchases this was 450 this was like a hundred so either way it comes out to like 550 which is what I would have spent on just the Louis one alone um, I think it looks good both look good um, obviously with Louis you're getting that preciseness there is no bubbling it's also I think a little bit more efficient where there's like less material like we can line it up right here there's a lot less material and yeah like I could do without the loops and like the credit card slots because I wasn't gonna use that as that but it just looks really good this is like in perfect condition he bought this I think in 2014 and used it for a couple months so I'm getting it basically unused and it looks just so nice now um, to compare these two to an agenda like you might already have this is the classic a5 um, Louis agenda that I've had the six rings and so if we lay this right on here it's a little bit wider but this would obviously pop up more because there would be things in it this one and this one that's what they look like where the desk agenda would come in a little like a half inch shorter and I think capacity wise both fit about the same amount I think these are one inch rings in here and that's a one inch disc in there and the paper size is what's what got me so I have um, always used this one the a5 the classic a5 size and obviously now that I'm on camera I do not cannot think of the exact measurement off the top of my head um, and then I know for the this desk agenda the ring bound system this is the half letter size is what they call it it is exactly a half sheet of the um, copy paper that goes in your um, printers. So this is um, eight and a half by 5.5 because two of them would make 11. So 5.5 down here. And I think this is actually five point, what, like seven by 8.7, I want to say, because it's a little bit fatter and I think a little bit taller 
or something like that. Actually, I guess I could check it out. Let's see. So yeah, I think it's like 5.7 by, oh, this way it's supposed to be shorter. It's, uh, it's not 8.5. I think it's 8.3 by 5.7. I think that's how it is. So the page is a little bit different. I think coming from ring bound to disc bound is easier because when you cut right along where the holes are, like you leave a little sliver of the holes, it's very easy to just punch it through your um, your disc punch and then get it. I think it's gonna be harder to go from here to here because if you have a bunch of disc bounds and then you gotta tape over it and then even then the page will still be too short. It'll come in a little too much. So. Um, I have this and you know, I've always loved it and you've seen some videos in my past where I've used it and I have so much stuff for this baby here, but I was just kind of like feeling a little, I don't know what the word is. Like I just wanted to try something different, like try something new. So this one had been shelved for quite some time and I just have some passwords in here. My Louis Vuitton collection lists are in here. So it's like a reference book. So it just sits on the um, the bookshelf a lot. And then now this one is the newest one. And basically because I am just so, 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 so in love with my Agenda PM, my Koala Agenda PM here, that um, sometimes I did want a little extra writing space. And so I will show you guys like what my, can you guys see? So my dailies look like this. I was using this one, not a lot of stickering. I tried this one from the List Lab, but it's a little too, um, what is the word, like in depth? Like it's got vitamins, it's got supplements, it's got shopping and meals and relationships and notes. It's a little much. I don't have that much going on in my life, you know? So then I went back to the dailies um, from Peanut Planner Co. But what I did was I just whited out all the, the numbers, the times, and I was like, I'll just fill in the time myself. And then it was like a little too plain. So then I went back and I got a different list lab. And this one has the times on this side, checks on this side, and just a few boxes. And I actually kind of like this one, the way it looks. I think it has the right amount of lines and dots and boxes without getting me too crazy, I guess. Um, but I do have, I think this one is also still my favorite. This is the freebie. And this is the purchased one. The ones with the time on this side is the purchased one. And this one is a freebie. But I still think like I like this freebie better. Because I like these two boxes at the bottom. So I have whited out the times. And I like filling in the times myself. I don't need to have a schedule. I just need a place to write the times is what I'm trying to say. Um, so because I like this so much. And every day I pre-plan. Every night I make one of these for the next day. And I move my page marker over. So... Um, I just wanted a little bit more space for writing and I know back here like I have my little um, notes and things like I have future dates I have a grocery guide and that works out great I have school stuff I have bills I have trackers um, it works out okay the only thing is that sometimes I just want to be like journaling or something like that and it's a little tight to be writing all your thoughts on just this little like index card type of page. And so I kind of just wanted something as a backup, like an extra brain dump area. And I tried doing it with the GM for a little bit and it was, it's just, it's just like a hefty. It's just really a big thing. And I was kind of like, I mean, most of the papers in here are all just no papers, like from Minted Sugar, Filofax, like Sesame. So I'm just like, they're just mostly um, no paper. I just want a notebook. And this is where I came up with this to buy the cloth and paper um, agenda. And I guess I'll, I can just do like a real quick flip through because there's really not much in here. So I have some acetate from the planner society again this is yeah I just cut this right out of the a5 I just cut the holes off and punched it and there's nothing left over on the side it's like perfect then I have some vellum from Michael's um, a grumpy bear that I printed out myself this came with the cloth and paper um, desk agenda 
And then the best part is that the Pina Planner Co. half size printables are actually half size in here. I used to kind of fuss with the A5, um, you know, converting a half size into A5 and it's not perfect. And I just know it deep in my heart so it upsets me a little bit, but this is perfect because it is actually a half size. So I went back, reprinted all the Pina Planner Co. bundles, the 2018 bundle that I had, and they fit perfectly because it is exactly a half size. Um, I have a 52 week thing. I don't know what I was gonna do with this. Another 52 weeks. You'll see twice of everything because it's half size and I cut it straight down and I just fold it in half and I punch everything. So you'll see two of everything. So here's one of these um, big calendars, the mini calendar. Oh, this was like my little uh, baby step into this found. I bought a happy planner for like 10 bucks and I just tried it out. This, it's small. I think they call this the mini, right? Happy Planner Mini. But I know that this is going to be really a tough size to come by. I think it's a, like a personal wide, but I that's not really what I'm down for. So I just pulled out some of the tabs where it had like gold foiling and stuff and I just popped it in. And I just love that you can just rip stuff out and rip it back in. And there's no, none of this, like none of the disc um, or the ring mechanism that could get jammed or separated and you're going to get all upset about it. So I really like the disc thing is just, you just go and pop it right through. So I have another tracker. None of this has been even written on because I just got these and I went crazy. Um, this is from Plannerpedia on Etsy and I, this is her to like yearly bundle and I bought this because I just, I was kind of moving towards the Hobonichi because a lot of people who have desk agendas have Hobonichis inside so I was kind of testing it out I just want to see what it looked like before I make like a $50 investment into shipping a book from Japan and I'm not that like convinced yet so I will not be getting a Hobonichi in here um, I, I think with the inserts that I have from Peanut Planner Co and like cloth and paper and minted sugar I think think I'm okay. So these I um, cut myself using List Lab, uh, what is it, uh, print, not cuttables, <laughs> what is it, cut files. Here's another one of those little ones from the mini planner, the mini happy planner. And so in the beginning I have like just the bu yearly bundles. Then I have, this is the thing that I'm talking about, is the Pina Planner Co. 2018 like freebie. I have it also in my GM and the problem is is it's not the like same size. Let me see if I can okay. It's like, like this is the same month. This is December. When you look at it, you can tell because there's a lot of white space around the edge and like this part is like really big. I can tell that this isn't meant for an A5 and it really bugs me. I don't like that. It's not anything that Peanut Planner Co. did wrong. It's just like the different sizes between A5 and half size, there is a difference. Now, when you go from here to here, I like this a lot better where it's more centered and it's bigger, the boxes are bigger. And so I really like this version, whereas I felt like this is just, I'm just forcing it in there and saying it's a calendar and it's whole, you know, I don't like that because I can tell the spacing is off. And that's the problem with like a lot of printables too, is the insert can be so graphically beautiful, but then right here where it comes to the holes and the margins, if you are punching holes on your printable, I don't think that's a good printable. And Peanut Planner Co. gets it right every time, but I just know that it wasn't actually meant to go inside of a A5 ring bound. It's supposed to be like this, like a letter, half letter size. And so it's a lot easier to cut down a Peanut Planner Co. Um, printable also. You just literally cut it right down the middle and then hole punch or punch it right here and then it'll just pop all in. So I really like that. Then I tried, I went back to this one. This one I had bought for the um, A5 GM and um, I, I guess I didn't use it very long, but this was one of my first printables that I bought from her and I just love this one. So 
basically what I'm doing here is I pre plan in this and it also has just running to do list and then I'm able to make my dailies out of the pre plans. So my monthly and weekly live here and the daily goes in there. So on the go, I have it with me every day. These are just some, rif uh, not rifle, this is paper source uh, stickies. It's called Garden Party from last last year, I think, last spring. So I have a few of those. So this is what I'm talking about. This is from the GM. Uh, and this was that calendar that I have in all of my planners. And so it had the six holes here. And then I did not cut it down and I just punched it because I knew it was a half size. On the GM, it goes in a little bit smaller and it's a little taller. But here it's like perfect so i didn't want to waste it so whatever i can take out of the gm i just took out whatever i can't like i have to spend too much effort like washing taping and stuff i just left it in there but and then here's another one from emma studies and this is just like a little calendar like a blank one that you can plan on and then i have this thing and i cut this one down out of the happy planner because this has silver foiling and i thought that was very pretty this is my vision board from my GM, and this one, again, I had to cut it. You can kind of see the, see the ring indentations right here, and then I punched it. This I don't mind because it actually goes in a little bit more, so I think it's the right size. Then I have my minted sugar card. I just cut a little bit off the sides and put some stickies on the back. This is the minted sugar marble paper. I just bought some plain marble paper just for journaling and notes and things like that. Um, I really wanted this to be like a brain dump journal, notebooks, like sketchbook, project planner, anything that can't fit in here. Like I can't be drawing pictures in here. So that's what that is. Then I have the pink blush ones. So again, a blush. This looks so pretty in here it was just like so nice so cute then i have some cloth and paper this one this is the one that i bought from her where it just has like the dates and the, the like numbers and you just highlight or circle whichever one you can make notes on here um then i have a sessa v card that has the little checkoffs on this side then this section is actually the one that's being used this is like my work i took it to work and i took some work notes my finances are in here and when I mean finances I mean like uh, long-term finances like not just paydays and stuff but like uh, maybe two three years from now and like home buying situations like it has a little bit more um, than the koala does so this is where i kind of work out the big picture stuff um here i just have the peanut planner co freebie and i just printed on just like i just started printing so much stuff off of um just like my husband's scratch paper so on the backs of these paper are like just messy things but um i literally just printed everything out and i just started writing just ideas that i'm getting um and I and then eventually I will file them into the proper places so that's what that is and then the grocery guide right here so I was just kind of playing with all the printables that I have lots of peanut planner co freebies this one oh this one is important dates I covered it up with my marble stickies from the planner spot and I was just trying to kind of compartmentalize my ideas and then the ideas that I can't go back on that page where it's just like a running list so just just lists just making lists back here and then I have oh these are just some quotes some notes from school that I was taking um, then I have some notes from work and more important date so this one I kind of screwed up by flipping it for some reason so January is over here and July is over here so this is kind of messed up so that's why it's back here then more minted sugar more minted sugar paper and then this one I went to what's that place called staples staples had two of these for like a dollar fifty or something from arc it's not the best kind of plastic it's kind of that chibi plastic but I mean it's it is a pouch and I ripped off that white slider thingy and I just have some Miffy uh, page markers. I got these post-it page markers. 
I think these are like the new ones where the colors are more soft and like um, pastel. And then this is the plastic thing that came with cloth and paper to shove, like you gotta put it in to anchor down your notebook. Otherwise, it's just gonna fall out or whatever. So um, I don't know what this thing is called, but I know at Target, I mean, um, Staples, they sell two of these for like, 250 or something or 150 or something like that these just a plastic cover i know sesa v you can make a black one with like gold writing with your own name i might be inclined to get that but right now i don't know what it is i think because it's spring and it's my birthday like everything is like pink and gold and blush and i just really like the theme that i see when i first open it up like the pink tab the pink palm gold you know sesa v bookmark so Right now, I want to keep it kind of this color, like this grumpy bear style, the brown and the pink, and I think that's like really cute. Um, I just tuck more sticky notes back in here, and the gentleman who sold me this was kind enough to even include this little thing that you get with every Louis purchase. And like the credit card slots are like totally unused. They almost kind of like stick together because it's so brand new. Um, I don't have anything that I really want to stick back here because even in my cloth and paper agenda, I think I only have my own business card. Are you going to fit in here? Yeah, it fits in here. Okay. If you want it to, you just turn it on itself and you can write and it never gets in your way. Like it's always flat no matter where you go. Like you can go here, always flat. So that's like the fun of this. So that's when I learned about that. I was like, wow, that's crazy because you can't do that with this. This, you got to pop open the ring, pull out the paper, put it back in, right? So, I mean, I still love my, uh, this agenda. I'm not going to get rid of it or sell it or do anything with it because I want it in my collection. So that's kind of the way that I'm using the two is... I'm using this one as like my daily driver. It has all my like trackers, um, like passwords, my just like as a reference, like anything that you might need on the go. And then this has just like everything, all the kind of like big picture ideas, like long term, big picture, more in depth, like school stuff, like uh, I don't know, just like anything that, like work things. I don't wanna carry work things in here. Like I, this is like a, supposed to be like a pretty, like a wallet type of thing, like essentials only thing. And I don't want ugly work notes in here talking about work and stuff. I just want it in here. And then when I'm done with the page, I'm gonna tear it out and throw it away type of thing. Like these are just like ugly work notes. They're all like printed on ugly paper. And then, um, like this one I'm kind of using to pre-plan slash I went back and did a little, uh, what do you call it, like memory planning type of thing. Just wrote down important stuff that happened on those days. But this is basically where I pre-plan is what this looks like. So um, I think the two balanced, e two balance each other out. And I really think that this works out like really well for me with the, just the two agendas like this. But I guess I have to say it here because I actually sell a lot of my stuff pretty well through YouTube, ironically. So I will sell this um, to anyone who wants to email me at sincerelyyours at gmail.com. Let me know and I will not be including the discs with it because I want to keep my discs. So it'll just come as is like this. And I do have to kind of make a disclaimer. I'm willing to knock off some of the price because I noticed there was this thing back here. I don't know if it's showing up on camera that well, but when you look here there, from the front, it is kind of chipped in a little bit. So I lifted it and it's like missing a piece of le leather. I don't know if it's because the leather is just so tightly bound or something or so dry, but it's like eaten away a little bit right there. And that is, that's the way it came. So I'm not saying I did it, but I'm willing to take some of the price off for it because I understand like I've already opened it and used it. So I will do 85 including shipping within the US and um, I will box it up and maybe I have some, some extras that I can throw in there with it. So 
just let me know what you guys think and email me at sincerelyyours at gmail.com if you have any questions. You can find me on Instagram under sincerelyyours as well. And again, thank you so much for watching and for everybody who's given me um, birthday wishes and everyone who's been watching my videos. Thank you so much again for watching. I really appreciate it and it makes it so fun and I really like looking through your guys' videos and I really enjoy that you guys watch my videos. So thank you so, so much. I really appreciate that. And I will be seeing you guys out there in the social media world again. Until next time.